Welcome to Dosta! I am Sheryl and today we are at the Avatar Museum for uh, together with Dexon and Barbok. Each one of us is going to look uh, for three avatars that we like and we're gonna show them off to you. So I would say let's take a look. So this is my number three pick. Um, I like this avatar because it's so goofy. It's so silly. Like it lots of weird facial expressions. And like just look at the, the setup like this. That's what I like about this one. And that's basically it. This is my third pick. Um, Lemon Chan, if I pronounce it right. Uh, I really like her because she kind of looks like a VTuber and she has nice ties. Overall figure is pretty nice. She has really nice hip movements too. That's basically why I like her. First time seeing this, but it's really cute. So this is my third favorite pick and the reason why is because I love playing strategy games and I'm a bit of a history nerd. So obviously the best waifu. This is my number two pick. The reason why I like this so much is because the design is almost impeccable, amazing. In terms of how it's made, it's a little bit less because it's not very well made for full body tracking. But in general, I highly recommend Susuri-san. Oh yeah, and I like the green eyes. So yeah, this is my number two pick. Yay! So I, I like Taicho because Taicho is really cute and one of my favorite avatar creators. Well, basically just a nice body. And even my friends called me cute in this, so like, she's like really lively and shit. I don't need more reason. It's like, really nice body. And the avatar name in Japanese pronunciation is Tiko, not Taicho. Ah, Tiko. Hm. This is my number two, Haura. Um, the reason why I like this art is because, thankfully now, there's a lot more Ikemen and just guy avatars in general in VR chat. Before there weren't this, as many, that's why I'm really happy that we have more Ikemen now. And more good guy, look, like good looking guys in the game. And not just only girls and lollies. And that's why I choose this as number two. This is my number one pick. To be honest, I love this avatar to bits. I saw it at Fiket, I see it again at the Avatar Museum. It's amazing. So this is a Foka-chan. She looks really cute in my opinion. Also, this avatar is rigged very correctly for full body tracking. So when I have my leg here, my feet are actually here. Which is very good when you move around the full body tracking. Foka-chan, my number one pick. This is gonna be my number one pick. The reason why is like I fell in love with even the base of the avatar when the avatar creator first posted the first pick when he was working on it on Twitter. So it's like beginning of last year. This was straight up a buy for me. It's like it's been my main for like a whole year now, basically. And yeah, I like everything about it. It's cute, it's innocent, it's like a big sister. She's called Koronatsu. I don't know, it's like this is me, basically. This is just me. It's like really cute and innocent. Like a really sisterly figure. So, and my number one pick is gonna be this beautiful monster girl right here. I love monster girls, I love tentacles, and I love Onesans. And <laughs> I love the fact that you can move the tentacles with your hands as well. So you can pet people with it. You can slap people with it. You can do all kinds of things. So who doesn't love a good monster girl? There we are at the end of the Avatar Museum 4 pick. Um, we are currently wearing our number one pick. We really like these avatars. And we really appreciate the avatar creators for making these amazing avatars. That's basically it. Thank you for watching our show. Please follow us on YouTube and Twitter and subscribe on YouTube and hit the bell button and well, see you until next time.
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel. See you in next video.